When we first got into the building, we realized that there were no details left, that it had been stripped and it was empty. People had managed to break into the place and steal the copper and all the, the black iron. So it was pretty much a gut. At first we were disappointed, and then we realized we had a clean slate, and it was time to get to designing. A lot of times architects don't necessarily like what you want, but they'll do it for you. One of the things I loved about Green Street was Hannah and Nick got what we were looking for and really liked our aesthetic. David and Alicia wanted to make a greenhouse, but they had a very tight budget. So we were balancing constantly how green could it be with what they could spend. They've managed to spread out the environmental focus on a number of things across the board, from indoor air quality to material choices to energy efficiency. When we told Nick yeah. and Hannah that we wanted to uh, open this up to have as close to a wall of glass as we could get, and we didn't have the money to really rebuild with iron and then ha literally have a wall of glass. Yeah, but the instead... dream would have been to do this entire back wall, every floor, glass. Yeah. But people have a fantasy about how their life is going to be, and this house really represents that fantasy, you know? And, and sometimes it doesn't really match up with how they really live, and so over the course of designing, it's sort of like being in therapy or something, like you actually figure out the reality of how you live and, you know, what kind of space you really need. Because we love, we love the loft feel. They had a lot of different ideas, but a lot of it was a kind of a feeling. So we had to kind of figure out what the real aesthetic was and then what of their images we were going to be able to marry in. In New York Brownstone, it's about 16 feet wide. And with 16 feet, we're really tied in with what kind of layouts we can do. Hannah and Nick gave us a concept for the house that divided it into two different spaces, lengthwise. The darker zone, which is um, the service zone, is where we're going to have the slate flooring. And the lighter zone, which is more of the living area, uh, that's where we're going to have the bamboo. It was great to have a concept to come back to. When we had to make decisions, we could say, how does it fit into this concept? So it, it really held the whole thing together. This first floor is our Tribeca loft, just uh, a little uptown. A little bit uptown. When this place is done and I sit in my living room, I'm not walking into a, a cookie cutter apartment that someone else built. I'm sitting in a very unique space. It's something that we sketched, that we drew, that Hannah and Nick helped us to design and to realize, which is an incredibly satisfying feeling.